This video presentation is brought to you by Skip LaCour's Mass Machine Nutrition. Real physical development, real sports nutrition. Visit the Mass Machine Nutrition website today at www.massmachinenutrition.com. By House of Pain Ironwear. You can get all the workout clothing Skip LaCour and Tyrus Reed wear at www.houseofpain.com. And by Natural Muscle Magazine. You can read the online version at www.naturalmuscle.net. You want to be just as focused during these warm-ups as you are during the heavy sets. What you do during the warm-ups will affect what you do during the heavy sets. Least amount of reps, least amount of warm-up sets, and the least amount of weight you want to use during warming up. Just want to use enough to get the job done, get you ready for the heavy set. So right when it's fresh in your mind, go ahead and write down what you did for that set, where you're doing record keeping. But more importantly than record keeping, you know what, what that is, it's setting goals for next week. You know what you did, you know how it felt, you're making mental notes of that. And so before you're set next week, you look down at that and you know you're going to perform at that level or beyond. And that's what progressive overload is all about. Some guys don't write down their figures, they go by feel. And, Maybe after their set they go, oh wait a second, I did six reps last time. And this time I only did four. Well it's good to know that beforehand so that winner inside of you is gonna make sure you get up to at least what you did last week. Okay. All right? Uh, yeah. yeah, if you have some notes, anything that just reminds you of that performance. You know, a lot of times if it's a strong output felt really good. Sometimes if I'm weak, I'll make sure that I know that I was weak on that particular week so that I won't go up to that type of standard that I was weak at. I know I should obliterate that next time. So just little notes like that. Yeah, like I said in the warm-ups, the, just the 135 was feeling heavy. And, right. And like you said, you can't let that influence what you're going to do in your heavy sets. And it didn't. You know, I just ignored, the, ignored, ignored each warm-up set. And once I got to my final heavy set, it felt good with it. Yeah, definitely can't predict your performance during the overload sets during the warm-up sets. That's what they're for, warming up. Mm -hmm. right, right under your chin, banana duck, or in by your nose. Right, right under your chin, and in by your nose. Go deeper. Yeah. Go deeper. I got you. There you go. Perfect. 
So Tyrus, what would you say to somebody who said, would say to you that six sets for chest isn't enough to stimulate growth? What would you say to that? I say that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I feel great after the six sets. Now, did you do a lot more volume before? What type of training did you do before? Before I would do probably uh, maybe five workouts. Uh -huh. Five workouts, each of them doing four sets a piece. And I did that maybe eight to 12 rep range. Okay, so you did five exercises, four sets each mm -hmm. for 20 sets. Yeah. And you did them eight to 12 rep range. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're, okay. we're gonna keep you, you're gonna keep everybody posted. So those people who are training with that type of volume, mm -hmm. they can get an honest assessment from you what mm -hmm. the difference is. Mm -hmm. All the pros and all the cons, if there are any, so they can just get an honest assessment. So by your example, they can jump in there and uh, try this, see what it can do for this, this mass machine training, this overload training, this more emphasis on weight and intensity mm -hmm. rather than more volume, more sets, more exercises. Well, one thing is, the one thing for sure is uh, just in this small time being together, my family's already seen like a big improvement like in my chest, but I was always lacking. And you know, overall kind of a uh, size and like a uh, size of pump to my, to my muscles. Control it on the way up. You're not just driving it down, you're controlling it on the way up to your abs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I can see where you can feel that in your abs. I've just never done it that way. But as long as the tension's on your abs and doesn't go into your arms, that's right. That's all that matters. I tell guys all the times when they see slight variations of exercise, I tell them, hey, try it out yourself and see if you feel it in the targeted muscle group. Yeah. No, you can't. No, you can't say that. <laughs> Take your bodybuilding and training efforts to the next level. Visit my skiplacore.com website and invest in my DVDs, ebooks, and audio seminar courses. This video presentation is brought to you by Skiplacore's Mass Machine Nutrition. Real physical development, real sports nutrition. Visit the Mass Machine Nutrition website today at www.massmachinenutrition.com. Follow this Mass Machine Nutrition website as I outline, explain, and coach 
23-year-old natural bodybuilder, Tyrus Reed, my mass machine training program. It's a physical, mental, emotional, and psychological approach to bodybuilding and training. 